Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm going to go to the Manchester Opera House to see Mamma Mia the Musical. I've not seen Mamma the Musical, Mamma Mia the Musical for years. Can't remember the last time I've been to see it. So I'm really looking forward to going and seeing it today. I'm going to the matinee show in because I'm going on my own. And I uh, thought a matinee is just eat, nicer to go to when you're going on your own. Especially for a show like that when it gets really busy. Um, it's a sold out show. I think the whole week is completely sold out. Actually I think it's on for two weeks. I think the whole two weeks is completely sold out. There's no tickets left for any shows. So it's a really popular show. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Lawrence is also going next week, um, obviously because we couldn't go together. There was no tickets together that we could afford anyway. So the cheapest ticket we could get was, I think it was £27, which for us is a lot of money to pay for first tickets. We always get like the £13, £20 tickets. Um, so yeah, we pay quite a lot to go and see this, but both of us haven't seen it. I don't think Lawrence has ever seen it, and I haven't seen it for years. I think the last time I actually saw it was in Liverpool, and I think it was like at, at the arena. I'm sure they did it like at the the arena, um, and that was many, many years ago. So yeah, looking forward to it. Um, I'm sat in the grand tier because it's the only seats we could get, um, even for that price, they, they were only in the grand tier. So I'm sitting inside the grand tier. I can't remember what row or seat I'm in. I'll let you know that um, in the review part of the vlog at the end. Um, but yeah, obviously I will show you around the theatre, show you any merch they've got, show you my view from my seat. And yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy this little vlog. So I'll get back to you now once I'm at the theatre. So it's now half one, I'm just at the tram station, I literally just missed one. Next one's due in five minutes, so I should still get there in time, maybe just in time. So it's half one, it starts at half two, so I really wanted to get there for two, so I might get there for about quarter past, we'll see, but hopefully it's still in time. I just got off the tram at St. Peter's Square. I always forget when I'm going to the house. I should get off at Dean's Day. But got off at St. Peter's Square, so I'm just going to walk up now. It's about quarter to two. So I've still got plenty of time. Although it is a sold out show, so it might be a massive queue to get in. So we'll have to see if I have time to film anything. I might have to go straight to my seat. So if I can't film anything before the show, I'll film my merch and stuff in the interval. So I'll get back to you now once I'm at the theatre. So I've just arrived at the theatre. As predicted, it's a very big queue to get in. I probably should have got straight in the queue. It's just getting bigger and bigger, but I'm gonna go to the queue on that side because that's smaller. I'm gonna head in now and I'll get back to you once I'm inside. Not for the merch stand, got in pretty quick. So, see if we've got any magnets left. No.
my case. So today I'm up in the gallery, so the top tier. So. I'm just in my seat now on row C in the gallery, seat 27, and this is the view. So, quite a good view actually. So, looking forward to show start. It's going to start in about 15 minutes. So it is now the interval, really enjoying the show so far. Because it's full, there's a massive group of toilets so I think it's time for the show to start again now. So I'll take my seat and I'll get back to you. I'm now back from the theatre. I've been back for a few hours now, um, but I thought I'd just tell you a bit about the show and what I thought of it. So today I went to see Mamma Mia, the musical at the Manchester Opera House. I was sat in the gallery, which is the top tier. I was on row C, seat 27. And I think the price for that ticket was £24 plus the booking fee, so it worked out around £27 for that seat. Um, usually I don't like paying more than £20 for a theatre ticket, and so it's a bit more than I would usually pay, um, but it was one of the only seats left. Um, Mamma Mia was extremely popular. It's actually all sold out. It's on for two weeks. It's on this week and next week, and all shows are completely sold out. There's no tickets left for a single show. And that never usually happens for shows. So it's been extremely popular in Manchester. Um, Lawrence, my husband, did manage to get a ticket. He's going next Thursday. Um, so yeah, we couldn't get tickets together. Um, there was just the odd single seat tickets left. I think there might have been maybe two together in the more expensive seats, like the £90 seats, but there was no way we were paying that. Um, so I was quite happy to sit in the gallery and my view is actually really, really good. Um, so yeah, I didn't mind sitting there at all. It was a, it was a good, 
it was a good view however the leg room was very it wasn't very much leg room and I did feel really squashed up there and I do suffer a bit from sciatica and my back was absolutely killing me um so I probably I don't know, I probably didn't enjoy the show as much as I would have if my back wasn't so sore but my back was spasming literally like that for the whole thing so I just found it quite hard to concentrate on the show for most of it um but I still enjoyed it but I think I probably would have enjoyed it more if I was in a more comfortable seat um but that's that's the only problem with sitting at the gallery you still get a good view it's just you very very squashed in up there the seats are all close together and there's not much leg room so there was some merch for this show they had quite a few different t-shirts didn't see any hoodies for this show just lots of different t-shirts um did they have a mug i'm not sure if they even had a mug um but they had or they might have had mugs at some point um but I don't think I saw any there. They had a key ring, they had a magnet, they had like some bracelets. Um, and I think that was all that they had. Uh, I did film it and I think I filmed the price list so I'll show you what they, what merch they do do. Um, but I bought a magnet. So yeah, I bought the magnet and that was £6. I also picked up the programme. I think this was £5.50. Um, so yeah, picked that up. I always pick up a programme because I like to know who's in the show. So I went to a matinee showing on a Thursday. Uh, the show started at half two and it finished at five. So it was about two and a half hours, including an interval. Um, as it was a full house, um, literally I spent the whole of the interval queuing for the toilets. It was a massive queue. But the problem about the opera house is they don't have a lot of toilets. So yeah, there was massive queues for the toilets with it being a full house. So by the time you got to the toilet, got back to your seat, it was time for the show to come back on. So yeah, didn't manage to film much in the interval. So if you don't know the story of this musical, although I think most people do now, obviously, because there's been a movie of it um, as well. And it's been on, it's toured many times. And it's been on in the West End. So I think a lot of people do know the story of the mu of this musical. So if you don't know the story of Mamma Mia the musical, it's set on a Greek island um, where Donna and her daughter Sophie live. Sophie is getting married and she wanted to invite her dad to her wedding but she didn't know who her dad was. She found her mum's diary and in her diary she finds out there's three possible people that could be her father so she decides to invite all three to her wedding so all three of the men turn up to the island the day before her wedding and she tries to find out which one could be her father and that is the basic story behind the show so yeah, the show is really good it is a jukebox musical it uses all the songs of abba so it's got all your favorite abba songs in there so it's always a fun show to go to. They always do a um, medley of all the songs at the end where everyone gets up and dances. So yeah, it's a really fun show. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, probably would have joined it more if it wasn't for back, like I said before. Um, I have seen this show once before, I think. Um, and I remember that time I went, the people behind us sang the whole way through. But luckily the audience this time was really good and no one was singing along so you actually could hear the people actually singing the song. So that's why I wanted to go to a matinee rather than an evening showing because the evening showings tend to be a bit more rowdy. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed the show. Definitely recommend it, although you're not going to be able to go to the Manchester shows. I'm not sure if it's touring anywhere else or if that's the last stop on the tour. Um, I'll link all the information down below for you, so I'll, there's no point me linking any tickets to the Manchester shows because they're not on. But if it is still touring, then I'll, I'll link the Mamma Mia website down below. You can see where it's going to tour to next. So anyway, I might as well show you the programme. Here we go. This is the programme. So I'll show you this and then I'll go through the cast and show you what, who the cast were for this show. Okay, so this is the programme. So you have a little bit of information about the Opera House and what shows are coming to the theatre. Some adverts for some of the shows that are coming. So 
So there's a little article here about Judy Kramer who uh, created the show. Then you've got a list of the musical numbers. So these are all the songs that are in it. You've got Chickatita, Dancing Queen, Does Your Mother Know? Gimme, 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 honey, honey, I do, I do, I do, I do. I have a dream, knowing me, knowing you. Lay all love on me, mamma mia, money, money, money. One of us, our last summer. Slipping through my fingers, SOS, super trooper. Take a chance on me. Thank you for the music. The name of the game. The winner takes it all. Under attack and voulez-vous. And then we have the cast biographies. So Donna Sheridan is usually played by Sarah Poyser, but we actually had the alternate Donna on um, for this show. So we had Nikki Swift, and uh, she's played Rosie in Mamma Mia before, and that is her usual part in this. She's been in Footloose before. Um, she's played the first cousin, Madden. Nadia in my Miz. So she's got quite a lot of theatre credits here. Um, then we have Tanya that was played by Sarah Earnshaw. Uh, Sam Carmichael was played by Richard Standing. Harry Bright was played by Neil Craig. Bill Austin was played by Phil Corbett. Sophie Sheridan was played by Jess Michael Moore. Sky was played by Christopher Foley. Ali was played by Tanisha Butterfield. Lisa was played by Freya Humberstone. Pepper was played by Jaden Osh Osheni. Eddie was played by Archie Flynn. Father Alexander was played by Andra Baitup. And then you have your ensemble members and your swing members. And it's quite a big ensemble for this show. Yep. Then you've got an advert here. So this t-shirt is in support of ovarian cancer. So apparently for every t-shirt bought, uh, Mamma Mia will donate £9 from every t-shirt sale. And then here you've got your cast list, your ensemble, your understudies, you've got the band, the original creative team and the UK tour creative team. And then you've got your creatives biographies. And then you've got the UK and you've got the UK tour production team. And then you've got your acknowledgements. And that is more or less everything in the programme. So yeah, I really enjoyed the show. Definitely recommend it. If it is coming to a town near you, definitely go and see it. It's definitely one of those fun musicals. You always leave with a smile on your face. So yeah, really enjoyed it. So if you do enjoy these theatre vlogs and reviews, then do um, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified when my next review goes up. I do have a few shows booked, so I'll, there will be a few more um, theatre vlogs coming up very soon. Um, so if you've enjoyed this little vlog, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.
Bye.